In this video, I'm going to show you how to use presets in Lightroom. So we're going to cover everything from where to find your Lightroom presets, how to use them, and most importantly, how to tweak them for best results. Because whilst Lightroom presets are wonderful for speeding up your editing workflow, most of the time you're going to need to make adjustments to them, otherwise your images are going to look a little bit overdone and overblown. If you're new here, hi, my name's Audrianne from Live Snap Love, where I teach you how to master your camera and editing so you can beautifully capture your children, your family and the world around you. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and you'll stay in the loop for our weekly videos and also be sure to check out the description underneath this video. That's where you'll find links to everything I mentioned in the video plus get your hands on extra resources that will help you in your photography and Lightroom journey. But for now let's go and dive into Lightroom and get ready to learn how to use Lightroom presets. So here we are in Lightroom and we are in the develop module as this is where you will be able to find and use your presets. Now, before we dig into how to use Lightroom presets, let me just briefly run through what a preset is just in case you're unsure. So a preset is simply an edit that has been recorded so that you can apply those exact same steps to absolutely any image you wish. And you can do that just by one click of your mouse. So this can, as you can imagine, save you a lot of time processing your images as you just click on the preset and then Lightroom is going to run through that pre-recorded editing steps and apply that to your image. So it can be a really quick way of speeding up your workflow. So you will find your presets over here. So remember, we're in the develop module over to the panel on the left hand side, and you'll see this section called presets. Just click on that triangle to the left of it, and that is going to open up your presets. Now, this is where you will find any presets that you have installed. Now, Lightroom does come with some presets already built in, so you can use those. Um, you can also purchase presets on the web and you can get free presets. Now, we've actually given you some free presets to get started with, so just go to the link in the description uh, underneath this video and you'll be able to go and grab our free presets. Now, I won't show you how to install these, but only because we have another video dedicated to this, it's gonna show you exactly how to do this. So you can find the link to that video in the description underneath this video as well, or you can just click on that little card you've just seen appear on the top right of the video. So once they're installed, you are going to find these here. Now, if they were in folders, you're gonna see this here in a folder. So if I just click on that, a uh, little arrow to the side, you can see that those open up with all the different presets inside that folder. Now to use your preset, you first must choose which preset's going to look best on your image. And if you actually just run your mouse down these presets, you'll see that you get a preview of how that's going to look. Up here on the image on the top left and in the main image. So if I just run my mouse down these different presets, you'll see the slight differences in each one to give a slightly different look to that black and white. So you can actually choose which of these best suits your image for your starting point. Now for this one, I'm just gonna choose this one here, black and white clean. So to run that preset on your image, all you need to do is click on it and that's actually gonna start running that preset. Now, that all happens pretty much instantaneously. Now, if you just look at this panel over here on the left-hand side, the basic panel, you'll see that all these used to be at zero, they've now been moved. That's basically Lightroom running through that pre-recorded editing steps. Now, although sometimes your image will look good just right off the bat after applying the preset, most of the time, it won't and you're going to need to tweak that Lightroom preset. So the first thing to note is not all presets are going to suit all images. That's just the way it goes. You can go through the other presets you have and see if something else suits your image best. But most of the time a preset will work well, but it's just that you need to adjust it to suit that particular image. Now, I'm not going to lie at this point, knowing how to edit within Lightroom is going to be 
quite important because it will give you a much better idea of what changes the preset has made and what you need to do to alter it. So in this particular case, for example, I can see that the image is too exposed, so I'm gonna to need to move down that exposure slider. And I would also recommend that up here in the histogram area here, that you turn on these boxes. So you can see if I click on each one, it doesn't have that white box around it. Click on that and that will turn on your highlight and shadow warnings. And you can see if a preset has uh, blown any highlights or the blacks. And in this situation, we can see that it has done that to the blacks. So I'm actually going to pull that blacks slider up. Now, as you can see, it's made changes here in the basic panel, but it will probably also have made changes here in the tone curve, down in the black and white section, possibly the split toning, down in the detail section, lens corrections, and so on. So you can go into each of these and make further adjustments. So don't make the mistake of thinking a preset is all your editing work. It's not, you're gonna to have to go in and tweak that. Now there's also further editing that I would do to this image. For example, I would be doing some skin smoothing around here. I might also add some hair highlights. I may darken out the background. I may remove some things. So a preset isn't your complete edit, not by a long shot. It's just a kind of way of starting you off and doing some of the bulk of the editing work for you quickly, but you'll still need to go in and make further adjustments to have the image look as good as it could. Now, if you really don't like what's happened to your image with running that preset and you want to start again, then you absolutely can. Just down here at the bottom of the panel on the right hand side, you can just go and click that reset button. That's going to take you back to how the image was in camera. And again, you could go and apply another uh, preset. Let's just say if I decided that actually I wanted that in color, I could do something else here. Well, again, let me just see which one might suit this particular image. And I think we'll just go with the clean one here. And again, we would go in and we would start to make our adjustments and get this looking the way that we want it to. Now, I should also point out here that most presets will leave your white balance alone and your exposure as they are unique to every image. So do make sure that you then tweak your white balance and your exposure to make that correct. And you'll do that on any image. I'm just going to press reset here because I'm going to move on to how to create your own Lightroom presets. Now, I find it's better to create your own um, or tweak an existing preset so that you and then save that. And then that way that you've got your own editing style saved. So if you have a set of editing steps, you go through time and time again, then consider making a preset for them. Even if you just like the way a particular edit has turned out, make a preset for it and you can apply that to other images. So what you can do is just simply play around. So this is my straight out camera image. I'm just going to reset that, make sure I'm back to the beginning. And we're just going to make some tweaks. Now I'm going to move down the exposure. Let's just say I'm going to up that contrast. I'm going to move up my whites a little pull down my blacks a little and let's just say that I wanted to move down the texture a little in this situation and add a little bit of vibrance and saturation. Now, that's just examples you don't have to do those ones I'm just showing you how it can do and you would go down and make all your other adjustments here in your tone curve in your HSL panel, you maybe want to apply split toning, definitely going to want to do some detail work, maybe some lens corrections, for example. So you can go down and make any adjustments that you want to make here. So once you've got the sliders your way that you want them, then go back over to this panel on the left hand side and then just click on this plus button that you'll see here just next to where it says preset. So I'm going to click on that and you would click on create preset. Now this is where you can choose which of these adjustments to save in your preset and whatnot. Now I do recommend that you don't save the white balance and you don't save the exposure because that is definitely unique to each and every image. If you have done any things like uh, maybe transforming your image or something along those lines that you don't want to 
be saved, then you can just uncheck it. So just go through and make sure that you want to save all of these elements into your uh, preset that you're going to save. And if you don't, you uncheck them. And then when you are happy, you can go up here, you can give that a preset name. I'm just going to call it a test preset. And you can choose which group to put that into. So I'm just going to put that into my import presets. And then you would just click create. So if I now go over to my import presets, I have one here called test presets. So I'm just actually, oops, I'm going to go down and click on that reset button. And then I'm going to click on test preset. And you'll see that it's made those adjustments that we made earlier, but it won't change that white balance and it won't change the exposure because I didn't ask Lightroom to save that in the preset. So for your next steps, I recommend that you spend a little time practicing with your presets. Just go to the link underneath this video, download the free presets that I have for you, install them, watch the video on how to do it if you're not sure, and then just get to work applying them to your image and then have some time just tweaking them and getting the image to your liking. Remember, if you don't like what happens, you can just go here and click on reset. Remember with Lightroom, it's non-destructive editor. It means that these settings aren't really applied to your image until you export it, which means that you can play to your heart's content. So I hope you found this tutorial on Lightroom presets helpful. We have a number of other videos on Lightroom that you're going to find useful. Be sure to check out the links in the description and you'll see some popping up on your screen right now that will help you get the most out of Lightroom. And I will see you again in the next video.